Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand next day, last day, months between functions in SQL. So the, all these are the date functions. Previous videos we have covered some of the date functions. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now coming to this class, we'll try to understand about next day. So we'll start with next day. So what this next day is computes the date of the next named week. So this is very important. Computes the date computes the date of the next named week. So see here, select festival. This is our uh, uh, holidays table. And from this table, uh, next date, we are using the function for the start date, for the start date, the next coming Friday. What is the date of the next coming Friday? What is the for, for the start date, for the start date, make a note of it. For the start date, what is the next Fridays next to Friday's date if the start date is Friday then it is going to go for the next Friday's date okay so uh, this is how we can find the next day we can use the next day function and the last day produces the day of the last date of the month so it produces the date sorry it is not day it produces the date of the last date of the month so the last date of the month so given the start dates uh, for the start dates uh, based upon the months it is going to find the last date months last date months between to find the number of months between the dates given the given two dates the number of months we uh, we can find the number of months by using this months between so months be between function is going to find the number of months between the dates so let's try to execute all these functions on our examples uh, holidays and employee examples here here we are using the next day on this start day on this start day uh, uh, for example if you take 10 september 21 uh, 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 let's try to see the what is the day of this 10th september see here august september 10th september is friday see here <laughs> 10th September is Friday and if you apply next Friday it has to be 17 September see here it has to be 17 September similarly if you take 29 September oh okay it is again Friday okay so it is going to get the next Friday and uh, 13th January so we'll go back and see 13th January of 2001 is okay it is Wednesday and the next Friday, the next coming Friday is going to be 15 January. Okay, so let's see the output of this function and what we're going to get from this output here. 13th, uh, 10th September is going to be 17th September, 5th November and this is Wednesday. Uh, this th 13th January 21 is Wednesday and the next coming Friday is going to be 15 January. Okay, so this is the use of uh, next day, next day function. The next one is last day. Uh, 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 so this start date, uh, these start dates, what is the last day of this month? So here the September is the month, last day of the September is 30. So we are going to get the last day of the months. See here, 30 September, 31st October, 31st January and 30 April. So the last dates of the month we are going to get from last day last day function and the next one is uh, for example if you take uh, we will select the employees uh, table and we will try to use the uh, use the months between function months between function and uh, uh, for example if you take the current date today's date is 18th 18th today's date is 18th august 2021 and if you take the uh, uh, birth dates of the employees, the number of months between the current date and the birth date. So that can be obtained by using months between function. So the months between function, see here, months between function, by using it, we are going to get the number of months in between. The current date means 18th, 8, 2021 and uh, the birth date so each and every every employee's birth date 
so it is going to consider each and every employee's birth date and uh, it is going to find the number of months between this birth date and the current date let's try to execute this so these are the number of months and we are going we are going to get these point values of the days after the months okay so now what we will do is by using this by using this number of months we can find the a's right we can find the a's so how can we find the a's it is months between by 12 so the number of months by 12 we are going to get the uh, age of the employee by 12 means years okay see here these are the ages and if you want to convert these points into uh, uh, age into uh, a rounded figure we can use the seal function so by using the seal function these are the ages of the employees james is having an age of 84 years okay so this is this is how we can uh, find the ages of uh, the employees or any person by using the months between function also in our previous classes we have covered it by using difference between the dates current date minus uh, current date minus date of birth by 365 we are going to get the age okay so now uh, this is this is all about uh, start date sorry next date last date and months between functions in sql hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching